we have a Facebook group and I set up a Facebook page, not realizing that about four or five months ago I had done that. So I actually have two Facebook pages called Sprouting with Steve. Okay. And it's all good. We can delete one of them or we can merge yeah. them. If we can maybe merge them. And so I'm not even sure how to go from my page to get into where you work on the ad. Gotcha. I'm going to cover I, all that. I'm going to cover all that for you. So let me, um, what would be the best way? Should I screen share with you so you yes. can walk me through it? Or, Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, so um, over here I've got, this is the, this is the one that, and, and, and I haven't really done hard, I just threw up some pictures, so forgive my. Uh, no, you're fine. That looks good. It actually I, looks really, really good. Yeah, this one here needs to be changed. But so this is the one that I set up just recently. And I believe this one is set up to, I, I hooked it up with my credit card and everything. So it should be ready to run ads. This is the one that I set up a few months ago. So I, I'm not sure, you know, and it's already got 23 or four people who are, who have liked it and are following it. So I probably would say keep this one or merge the other one into this one. I'm not sure. Well, one thing I would do for sure is, um, well, see, it's kind of, it, actually, I don't know if I'm going to give you that advice because there's two of you and, and, and it's being branded under, under the name Steve. So watch, go back to the other page. You see how sprouting with Steve, like this, the other page is already branded as far as the username, not just, not just the title, the title is Sprouting with Steve, but the username, the app site. That's oh. Sprouting with Steve, right? Okay. So normally first, normally step one would be the advice I would give is go and grab every social media platform and lock that name. Yeah. But since that's not your name, you don't need to do that. Forget about that. If anything, I would keep, I would keep this one because you already have the username. That's the most important is that username. Now, could I... So I can't uh, get rid of that username and, and add it to this, this site here? If you change it here, it may not be available right away for you to get okay. here. So, so I don't wanna, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have you change it and then all of a sudden you can't grab it here. But at the same time, the 23 likes, man, that's nothing. Like I'm gonna have you get 23 likes in two minutes. So we can, we can take, we can somehow invite those 24 followers to follow the other page easily. Yes. Yes. Okay. For sure. So, for so sure. let me do this. Let me go ahead. I'll, I'm just going to close this one out so I don't get it. So what you can do. Here's what you can do. Go back to, go back to, um, actually you already closed it. That's fine. But what, what you could, what you could do is you can easily copy this link, the URL, facebook.com, the, the link at the very top, copy that entire link, just double click it. This one here. Yeah. That one. This is, this is the one we're keeping. This is the yeah, one that's I just the, set up. That's the one you're keeping. Yeah. So if you, if you double click that and you copy it and then you take it to the other page and just say, Hey guys, we got a new page. Make sure you like and follow us here. We'll be closing down this one here soon. Okay. So like let if, me go. If you did something like that. That'd be cool. And then as you go and delete a page, it doesn't delete until 14 days later. So you'll have plenty okay, of time. So this is the one. So in here is where I would make a post saying, go over to this other one and follow it. Yes. And then I could close it down later. Yes. Gotcha. You close okay. it down now because it's not going to, it's not going to shut off until 14 days. So it'll still okay. be active for the next 14 days, but it's up to you. It's up to you. Okay. So I'll, I'll do that later. I'll, I'll invite people to the new one and I'll close this one down. Yes. So now if I go, now this is our, our other one here. So where, where do I actually access the, um, my ads? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Run let's ads. close out the other one. Let's close out, let's close out a few tabs just so we're not confused or just so I don't, I'm not confused. Yeah. Close out that one and then close out the zoom one too. You, those zoom ones, you don't need those. So. But let's, let's, let's just have a few tabs up and then okay. all we're going to do is click on, um, at the top, you'll see the drop down. You'll see that drop down in the top right. Yeah, click on that, and then you can take that down. See, you have the updated version of Facebook. This version is a, it's way, way different than the old version, right? Like, you just, I don't know how long have you had this updated one. 
they just change it for you? Or yeah, you know, I was watching some videos and everybody had the older version and yeah. I liked it better. So is there a way to like switch back like in YouTube, you can go back, you know, to work with the... Yeah, I think, I think you're... I, I, yeah, yeah, right I, here, switch to classic. Yeah, go, let's go to classic real quick. Bam, there it is, perfect. I think, uh, yeah, that new one, man, I'm not a fan of it at all. But at the same time, I can still navigate through it, but it's just... It's, yeah, I... <clears throat> It's all good. Okay, perfect. Okay. So right here. So all we're gonna do is there's there's either that drop down or you can click on create. So you can go you can go right there and you can go down to yeah, see so yours doesn't say manage ads right there, but that's fine. Click on create right at the top. And then and then you'll uh, click on actually at the very top to next to your name. Create where? No, just up out of there, get out of there and go to create and set it in the blue, in the blue bar. You see create, run, home, and create. Perfect. Click on that and then click on add. So what we'll do on this first call is let's get our pixel installed everywhere. That pixel is the most important. Now I've already created a pixel and posted it in my Kartra. In my Kartra. Did you do it on all pages? Well, no, I wasn't sure which pages yeah. to do it on. Yeah, it goes on. Now, is that pixel is that pixel specific for just whatever ad I'm running, or is it specific for everything I do? For everything you do. So for every page, every page has to have that pixel. But the, so but when the, I start a new when I start a new ad, do I have to create a new pixel? No, no, no. What it, it, it's actually not the ad. It's 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 the it's the page that you're running the ad to. So the page that you're running the ad to. So when I see your ad, I click learn more, you're taking me to a page. Whatever page you're running that ad to has to have a pixel. But at the same time, when that person goes to that page and they enter yeah. their name and email or they buy your stuff or whatever, the right. pixel also needs to be on the next page. Right. So, I, so I, I've got the pixel already. Uh, I can find it in my Kartra because I, I post, I paste it in there. But what my question was is, let's say I go and I create a new ad next week. When I go through this creating a new ad, do I, no. I don't create a new pixel? No, 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 no. Okay. The pixel is a one-time thing. But so my, my ad is on my, my landing page right here. My pixel is, should be right. Right here. Okay. So I should get up, get that. Yeah, get that. And that also I'm goes just... on. But see, what we're gonna do rather than getting it there, because okay. what you what you need to also install is is what Facebook calls an event code, event code, event, okay. an event code. That event code is is right there in the pixel as well. Okay. But you're not, you don't have it copied right there. That, that, you're just copying the pixel. What we also want to copy is the event code. So let's go, let's just grab the pixel from here. You don't need to copy it from the first page. Okay. Get out of the first page, go back to Kartra and get and, and, and log out of that first page, return a dashboard, go to Kartra, and let's get out of this page. Let's return a dashboard and let's go to, um, Hit my pages. Let's go to the next page. So as they go to that one page and they click on that blue button, see right here you're going straight for the cell. So when they click on that blue button, what's the next page? Actually, in your case, you have see here's here's what you absolutely have to do. You have to have to do it this way. You have to switch this part up. Right. When they click on I that need, I need to refocus my funnel. Before yes. I need to start doing my ads. Yes, for sure, for sure. And I talked, I talked with my partner about it. He agrees, and I've already kind of recreated a, a landing page so that my landing page video is now not the first thing they see. That landing page video, we're going to use as one of the ad videos that get people to the page. Yes. Now, when now when they come to our page, like you said, they should only be looking maybe at now our new video of us welcoming them in. Right. 
And then all that other stuff that you saw below that, that won't, you know, we're going to hide that somehow. I don't know how to do that, but that will maybe pop up halfway through the video. Then the rest of that stuff pops up. Yes. I'll so, show you how to, how to hide it. So um, this is my, this is my new page. So once, so this, this page that I had open is going to be my new landing page. Okay. So what we want to add is, is, is a simple order page. Because the okay. way you have it set up right now is if you click the blue button, the order for, or the, yeah, the actual, yeah, the order form, I guess we could call it that, the checkout, it pops up right away, right? Yeah, so what we want to create, I guess, first is even just a landing page that has the form on the front end of it. What, yes and no. What you want to create, let me, let, me, let me show you. Let me give you an example. Let me, let me share my screen real quick. And I told you I was going to share, I was going to send you everything, which I, which I easily do. Um, but I, I haven't, I'll, I'll do that right when we're done for sure. But here's, here's, here's what I'm telling you. We, we, we need to implement for sure. Let me, um, let me show you here. So as they go to that page and as they click on the blue button, rather than having the, 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 um, the order like this, you know, your thing spins and then boom, it asks you for your name and then your credit card. Right. That's how you have it set up right now. It's going right. straight to a checkout. Right. Rather right. than you doing it that way. What, in fact, you know what? I think I have it right here. Let me see if, if this hopefully it doesn't tie me out this right here. So when they click on the blue button, you're bringing them to a full blown page. This page is what lists everything that's in that course. So yeah, you might've told them that in the first, in, in the video, you might've even, you might have even um, 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 had some information about that below it, but what, but what you absolutely need is you need it to be its own independent page. Right. And the reason for it is for Facebook advertising. So, so this right here, here's what's going to happen with this. See, as you can see up here, my Facebook pixel. I'm, I'm not sharing. You're, I'm sharing with you. So do you want me to stop sharing so you can share oh, with you me? Don't see my, you don't see my screen? I don't see anything. Oh, my yeah, God. I'm, I'm going to stop sharing on my end. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Okay, now I'm seeing you. Okay, so let me let me take it from from the beginning. Let me let me show you and just kind of paint the picture. As I showed you on our other call, right. when I'm running the ad, they click on learn more and they're coming to this one web page where they click on the orange button, and then I don't know why this is so dang slow. Let me close out a few things here. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi over here. Okay, we should be good. Okay, so they, they come here, right? As I showed you before, they click there and then they watch the video. So I'm able to capture all these leads of people that are interested and then they watch the video. That's the sell video. And then when they, they haven't come, given you, they haven't given you their information yet, right? Yes, they have. They can't, they come to this one page. They see my Facebook ad. They come to this one page. They enter, the, they click the button. They enter their name and email because they're interested okay. in knowing what the video is even about. Right. Then they come in here and they watch the video. They enter their name and email. That gives them access to watch the free training video. They come in here and, and, and just like on your page, you have his four minute video and then you have everything listed below. As you can see on my page, I just have the video. Everything below, I have a full blown page below just like you guys, but it's hidden. I don't want them reading any of that stuff until they hear my pitch. And that's your four minute video in your case. But here's my point. As, they, as they're listening to this, let's, let's call it four minutes. Three, mon three minutes in, then the full bottom of the page opens up. Okay. And the bottom of the page opens up with a buy now button. So here's the buy now button. Let me show you. And this is what's gonna, mm. gonna, gonna, gonna really, um, really explain what I'm telling, what I'm trying to try explain. As they click on, so here, here's, here's a very similar page, but they come to this page, they watch the video. I don't know why my internet is so slow right now. So here's, here's, here's the headline, here's the video, and then here's the full page. So this whole page is what opens up, but here's my point. Here's your blue button. Here's my orange button. As they click on your blue button, I'm already asking for the credit card. You guys are already asking for the credit card. That will start spinning and, and boom, there's your name, there's your credit card when they click on your blue button. When they click on my orange button, 
they're coming to a whole different page. And the reason why this is so important is because now those who are interested are clicking on that blue button of yours, but majority of them are not going to buy. That's just how it is. You may have seven people that click on the blue button and only, you may have 10 people click on the blue button, but only one of them buy, which is still fine, which is still fine. But the other nine people, those nine people clicked on the blue button as well. They didn't, they didn't buy, but they had to have been fully interested for whether it was a finance reason or whatever. But here's the point within the point. Those nine people need to be tracked. I need to be able to know through my Facebook pixel, which is up here. Gotcha. I need to be able to know, and I and Facebook needs to be, be able to know who at least got here. Yeah. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom audience of all those folks who got this far. And guess what? I'm going to retarget them with my next ad. Gotcha. That's so important, man. So, so important. And so, and so when they click on your blue button, they need to come to a completely separate page with everything listed of what they're getting for $97. And you want it to break down like this. There's the headline. There's the subheadline. Here's what you're getting. Module one. And then, and then in red, we want to put a value. Module two, there's a value. So this is what we call a stack. Tell me all these things that I'm getting. Tell me the value of it. And then throw in some bonuses. Whatever your bonuses are whether it's a weekly Zoom call with Steve, whether it's full access to Steve, whatever, let me know that in the bonus section. You know, make it really beef, beef up that offer so much where it's so irresistible for me to say no to $97. You know, and, and then here's what happens. All those bonuses, there's my live coaching call. So I'm throwing that in as a bonus. David goes live on Zoom every Tuesday and Thursday to review your social media marketing strategy. So, and, and then I have some testimonials just like you guys have, same exact stuff. But, but the point is, is that I, is that I, I create a custom audience and sure. I was able to create what Facebook calls a custom conversion. That's a whole, that's one of our five calls, just the custom conversions alone. Facebook needs to know not only, not only they, they don't only need to know this page to, to set up a custom audience so we can know who's landing here, but they also need to know this page so they know what our goal is. Our goal is to get people here. Right. That's when you tell Facebook. So, so custom audience is one to create the audience to retarget them in the future with ads. But telling Facebook exactly what our goal is, is to get people here. That's another thing as well. That's a custom conversion. So, so that's just what I recommend is when they click on that blue button, they need to go to a separate page like this. You know, so go back to, go back to your, your page real quick or your, 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 your screen. So again, rather than them clicking that blue button and now right away you're asking for my credit card, have me click on that blue button and take me to a separate page. So gotcha. that separate page can be go to um, go to um, X out of this and go to products. Go to my products in the top left and then go to that specific product and see if there's a page in here because sometimes there's a page. Um, 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 okay, so it's not. It's not, yeah, actually click on that checkout. Click on that checkout and see if it gives you a page. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, which is very weird. Just click on that. Okay, so get that link. Open up that link real quick, copy that link. Um, Go ahead and click it, save. Yeah, copy that entire link and, and open it up real quick. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's see if this is um, the page we need. Actually, yeah, perfect. So this right here, um, this can be it. Okay, so go back to Kartra real quick. Let's see if this is an actual page because we need to be able to get into it to, to add our pick from. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it is. Go instead of then go to my pages and just see if it's somewhere in there. Yeah, it's, I've never seen a page that looks like that. That was just a checkout. Okay, form. so we need we need a page. That so here, here, that. here. Let me ask you this now. I've I've totally rethought what my funnel should look like. Mm -hmm. Today, Steve and I shot uh, a video where he actually. I'm just in the middle of editing it here, where he actually walks through 
the entire course, uh, showing people, you know, what the course is like. So he walks them through. So like on that page you were showing me, like number one, you're gonna get this, value that. This video could, could live at the top of that page and then we, we, uh, at, we, we break down those modules like you were doing and we add a value. So at the top of that page, whatever you called that page, this, this video, it's 25 minutes, it's like a webinar, and there's no way people are gonna watch this and not feel comfortable buying this product. See, it's, that, that, that's what I'm trying to say, Ron. Yeah. You're taking me from a Facebook ad where you're giving me value, right? Video, ad, I click learn more. You're bringing me to one page where there's an image, a few bullet points, and you're getting me to, to, to opt in. When I opt in, I should be watching that 25 minute video. Right, and that's, what, that's why we shot this today. I, I mean, I'm halfway done editing it. That's the so, presentation, that's what sells the deal. Yeah, so my question is, when, when someone opts in from Facebook to, to your, land, to, they click on your learn more, is your page that they land on, does it have a pop-up? form or does it actually have the form where they ca you capture their information is it on the side no the form is 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 on the first page right so, but is it is it a is, is that form is it a pop-up form yeah yeah on yes, a page? Yes. yeah okay. yeah for sure for so sure. What, what would it be wise then for for me just to take that you know you said you were going to give me the code send the funnel over and then just have me start plugging in all of my pictures yes, and man. videos and everything into your funnel so that at least you know that that is away from what i have to do Heck you know yeah. creating that that's what i want to do for you and, and and that's what i'm saying that whole funnel is literally a whole blueprint man that's a that's a that's a i mean although i haven't scaled it at all but that is a that's mm. a, that's a seven figure funnel man because i copied it from an eight figure earner yeah Exactly, exactly, exactly. Although, you know, although I told you he was a click funnel guy and I'm a cartridge guy, but it's the same damn layout. Yeah. I copied it from him. He gave us the blueprint. That's what I bought for five grand. So I know it works and, and I know it flows because I, I mean, I, I, I know it. So if you look at that and just plug your stuff into that, you crush it. You crush and it. And then, then, then we have, at least we have our funnel and I can begin working on, you know, putting my, my graphics, our videos, and all that pertinent information into that funnel because that's how it works, right? I mean, I had somebody send me a, a funnel before, so I can, I kind of remember how that works. Um, so yeah. maybe that would be great for me to do that, and then I then we can go back to this Facebook, and then I would be putting my pixel on every page in that funnel. Yes, man. Yes, yes. So let me. Uh, so do you want to just make make this call about that? Then do you want to just import my funnel and? Yeah, let's, and let's don't even think don't even worry about five calls. We'll probably end up doing 10. It don't even matter. It doesn't, yeah, let's don't let's mind. just send send me that and then I can open it up and I can then start between now and our next call. I can try and get as you know, get that funnel as, as much looking like ours as I can. And then we can kind of then focus on you know getting the pixels in there. I mean I could actually, you know, if yeah, maybe we start with getting me the funnel because right now I realize that our funnel is, it's more of just like a, you know, it's really not a funnel funnel. Yes, it, it, it's it's not. But at the same time, it, it, it still works. It could, it, it's not that it's not the right funnel, put, put it this way, because I don't want to shoot you down like that, nor do I need you, it's not true. I'm not shooting you down like that, that's not the case. That's not, the, that's not, that's not how you want to look at it. No, I, under, I understand. What, what, what it's not, it's just not complete. There's just many, many, yeah. many, that are missing that yeah so so i have i have the full the full the full blueprint for you um do you want to show you how i package it all up yeah let me uh stop sharing here yeah come back to my screen real quick and i'm actually gonna gonna show you each page that it consists of so and then i'll package it all up let me know when you can see my screen uh, yeah we're we're good okay so down here, I have my TSRE training course. This is every page that it consists of. So that's, that's, that's what you're gonna be sending me. Yes, I'm gonna package up this entire thing. I'm gonna that package all this stuff. I'm mm -hmm. gonna package up a form. I'm gonna package up um, 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 the, the, the list and the sequence. 
okay? okay? But the magic is also in the sequence, in the email right. sequence, which is what I'm going to email you as well. So I'm literally giving you freaking, uh, I'm giving you this amazing thing right here, Ron. I hope you just, I hope you use it, you know, because I, I truly believe it's what you're missing. Um, but here's what it is. There's the first page. There's my landing page. Okay. So there's the landing page. It starts there. That's page number one. So here's, so what, here's is, many, what, do you, what does you have it called though? If you back up, what is it called? Cause it doesn't say landing page. I want to write these down. It's called, um, I have it in here internally just under web class. So it's, so your TS. TSRE. Uh, TSRE. TS, yeah. Web class is the first one. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, that's, that's page one. That's the landing page. That's the opt-in page. They get there, they opt in, they watch that 24 minute video. Okay. And that 24 minute video is right here on web class in progress. So that's where that 24 minute video speed needs to go. In my opinion, it needs to go on this page after they opt in. That's the web class in progress. So when they click that orange button on your web class landing page, it takes them to this web class in progress. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now this is all they're seeing. So 60 minute video, that's the presentation. That's where I'm pitching them on pulling out their credit card for nine, nine, seven, right? That's my full entire video right there. Now, as I mentioned, if it's 60 minutes long, 50 minutes in, that's when they're tagged. And that's when the system knows that, okay, these people watched 50 minutes of it, send them this email sequence. Or that's when the system knows these people did not watch 50 minutes, send them that email sequence. So I'm going to send you the full sequence. Okay. Whether they watch it or they so, don't watch so it. So in my case, so in my case, because ours is 23 minutes long, we would just go in the sequence and, and, or we actually, we would go in the video and, and tag them at certain points. Tag them in the, the video. Settings are. Yes. Now, okay, so after, after this, on this web class and process, is this the one that after a certain amount of time, the rest of the page opens up? Yes, yes, yes. That's why you don't see the bottom right now because okay. I have it set and I'll show you how to do that. It's in the delay section. But okay. in there, let's say it's a 60 minute video, I won't have that bottom pop up until 55 minutes in or whatever. You know, you guys can set it up however, but, but yeah, you can set the timer on when that bottom page opens up. Okay. Okay. So with a 25, with a 23 minute video, uh, when, when do we want that? To 20 minutes. Up? So close to the minutes. end. Yeah. The moment, the moment they're tagged for completed or the moment they, they're tagged for watching it, I would, if it's a 23 minute video, I tag them, I tag them as far as watching it, quote unquote, watching it at 20 minutes. And I would open up the bottom of the page at 20 minutes as well. It's a 23 minute video. I'd okay. open it up at 20 minutes. So 20 minutes. Are you, are, so, so are you, are you re remarketing to those who don't watch up to the 20 minute mark? Heck yes, man. And that's the back end. Heck yeah. That's my email sequence. Okay. So you've tagged them at Okay. Heck yeah. All right. So this is, so after this web class and process, what's your third page then? Okay. So here's what happens. They're either going to buy right here or they're not right. They're either going to watch the full blown thing or they're not. So I base everything on the majority of people that are not. That's who, those are all the crumbs on the table. Yeah, I'll get to sell up front. Yeah, that's great. But what about everybody else that didn't fully watch it? Or what about, what about everybody else who didn't buy? That's the back end. That's going to be, it's going to be eight out of 10 people. Those are all the crumbs we need to get to. So here's what happened. This is, it's really only two pages. It's a landing page and then boom, the webinar. That's yeah. it. Okay. All the other pages after that are pages that are going to be emailed to them. So okay. here's what happens. Let's say they watch it. Okay. Let's go to my communications. Let's say they actually watch it. So 60 minute video, I tag them at 55 minutes in They're watched. They watched it. Okay. So if they watched it, then here's what happens. Let me, let me go to the sequence, which is this is what I'm going to send you. Um, I'll send you this sequence with everything. But here's what happens. There's four days left. So in my emails and also on the pages, I know you guys are against countdown clocks, but I'm going to tell you right now, you want to include one. You have to. You have to create an urgency, man. No matter how we want to be nice about it, 
people need urgency. Like they need urgency to get off the clock. They just do. They do. Um, and so the countdown clock is a huge, huge, huge urgency, you know, factor of it all. Um, so in my emails, which you'll see, I have a countdown clock in each email. And so after they after they opt in, they watch the webinar, whether they don't watch it or whether they do watch it. In each email, if they do watch it, they go to the true site. If they don't watch it, they go to the false site. In each email, there's a countdown clock. It's a four-day countdown clock. So I'm only giving them four days to take advantage of this offer. That's the email sequence. So right here, thanks for attending. This is an email that is simply, they watched it, but they haven't bought. So all this, this entire sequence is already set up, man, where it's like, I know that you didn't buy. I know that you watched it, but I also know that you didn't buy. And how do I know that? Because you're tagged. You're tagged that you didn't buy, or you would be tagged that you bought. And so right here, does not have tag course student. So this is where I set up a specific tag for everyone who bought. If they don't have that tag, they're getting this email. And in this email, all I'm explaining are the benefits, the value, the, the, the stack, what they're getting, and then a link to check out. In this second email, now we go back to the pages. So in the second email, I'm sending them an email with the value, the price, all that stuff, but I'm also now sending them to a link to another page, which on Facebook Pixel. So now on this page, it's a, it's a three minute video of me explaining what it is in module two. And at the bottom, it's the same open up. So this is where they'll hit the orange button and they can check out. Because remember, man, not everyone's buying it up front. So I got I to gotta, I gotta keep you on this list. That's why you need to be getting people's names and emails in the beginning. Because the majority of them are not going to buy it. So they're going to they're gonna need to hear from you after the fact. And this is where I keep getting to them. So email number two, I'm sending them to another page just like that, bringing more value, telling them why they need to buy it. Email number three, I'm sending them to another page. So this email number three, so now we're at now we're at one, two, three. Check out this Realtors Facebook page. Check out these amazing plants we grew with this one strategy. And, and, and then boom, they open up that email. They come to another page where it's Steve, three minute video explaining the process of what he did in this particular case. And then down here again, special one time offer. And this entire time, this countdown clock is ticking. The entire time and the and the clock is uniform with everything going on so that clock don't doesn't miss a second it I, and, and the re, and, and how i have it set up that way is through a tag i'm tagging them so that clock is 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 it knows who opts in at what time and it counts down four days from there so no matter where when they come back to this page that countdown clock is ticking but again, so what, if, what if they come back in five days to that, to the, to an original email? Is it actually a true blockage? Very, and they very good question. Very, very good question. If they come back on day five, they then go to this page offer expired. Hey guys, this is David. I apologize, but the offer has expired. Uh, we ran that promotion. It was very, very successful right now. We'll be focusing on a lot of our clients that are in the program, but Hey, check your emails for future promotions. And in the meantime, if you'd like, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I drop a lot of free information on what we're doing on social media marketing, blah, blah, blah. So yes, man, it expires. You need that. It needs to expire. And there needs to be a real countdown clock. And so this page is all part of it, but here's what I'm saying. Email number four. So now we're at one, two, three, four. Email number four, they're getting this next page. I'm giving you these. So again, right here, I'm, I'm giving you these lead captures. So again, on it's me, email number four, four days later, explaining what I'm giving you, added bonus, getting you to buy. Click that orange button. And so these are all pages, man, that are Facebook pixels. Um, these are all pages that people need to, need, to, need, to, need to get. And then and then my last page is frequently asked questions. So this is the last email down here. Frequently asked questions. So by the time we're down here, we're on day number four, we're on, actually, I think we're almost at day number four. And then I send them another email 20 hours later. And then, and then two days later, I send them a survey. 
hey, Ron, this is David. I know you didn't take advantage of my offer. Hey, I, I get it. Things happen. Not everyone was in the best financial position. I totally get it. But hey, will you please tell me why? Why did you not purchase? Why did you not take advantage of my offer? It's just a simple survey that I would love for you to fill out. Would you mind clicking here and giving me two seconds of your time? So right there, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get data back on why people didn't buy. So I can then revamp if I need to or retweak my program if I need to. Um, that's if everybody watched it. If they did not watch it, okay, they did not reach the 50 minute mark because I tagged them. And if they don't have the tag, they're going to the false site. And this is where I say, hey, Ron, what happened? Hey, Ron, are you able to finish today? Hey, Ron, web class coming out tomorrow. Hey, Ron, here's the last chance. And so in this case, on the false side, I'm sending everybody back to the replay. So this is, this is the replay, replay one right here, which, is, which all it is is this first one. All it is is this first one, but, it's, but rather than web class, in, actually, you know what? No, I take that back. On the false side, because they didn't finish watching it or because they didn't even watch it, all I'm doing is simply sending them back to this first, this first page, web class in progress, because they haven't fully watch the whole thing. So I'm sending them back to this first page. This is the first page. They opt into the landing page and then they go to the, the presentation page. So the false side is to get them back to watch and finish the web class. Through the emails, I'm getting them to click on these different pages where I'm bringing more value and trying to persuade you even more to finally purchasing. And so when you do purchase, or when you do, you know, click the orange button, you're then taken to this page as I showed you. This is the checkout page. As you click continue and you purchase, you then go to a thank you for purchasing page, which is this one right here. And the reason why this is so, so important, this one page right here, congrats, your order is complete. And that's me on video where it's just me telling them what to do. It's just me onboarding them as a new student. But the reason why that's so important is because as we go and run Facebook ads, that's what we're optimizing for. We're telling Facebook about that URL. We're setting up a custom audience around that one page. We're setting up a custom conversion around that one page. We're telling Facebook, hey man, here's a Facebook ad budget. Get us people that are likely to get here. That's why we need a thank you page. That's why I need a that's why I need this other page over here. Because we have to tell Facebook where we're trying to get them to. It's not getting them just to our sales page. No, that's not, that's not the goal. The goal is to get them to the sales page, but the ultimate goal is to get them to the checkout page. The ultimate goal is to get them to the thank, thank you. you, thank you for purchasing page. That's what right. I'm saying. So the order complete. So Facebook, they don't want to know what your goal is. Your goal is to get people to opt in or get people to click the blue button. That's your goal. What they want to know is they want to know your ultimate goal. Your ultimate goal is to get people here. <laughs> Because if I can get people to this page, that means they bought. So Facebook, here's a budget. Find me people that are likely to get to this page. So I need to tell Facebook about that page. I need to tell them about that page, and I need to tell them about, I, I need to tell them about the order page, um, which is this one right here. So, so custom conversions, a custom conversion is set up around the thank you for purchasing page, and a custom conversion is, is set up around this page right here. But then also the reason why this page is so important. So when I go to your page and I click on that blue button, the reason why you have to take me to a completely separate page is so I can Facebook pixel all those people that got here. Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. So, 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 so all the people that got here, here's the custom audience. The custom audience is everyone who lands here, but, but does not land here. So that means that they clicked on the checkout, but Taking for whatever band. reason, they didn't check out. Yeah. That's an audience. I want to be able to retarget that audience. Hey guys, this is David. I know you were just about to check out. What happened? Let me tell you a little bit more about the program. You probably didn't fully understand it in the presentation, but hey, let me tell you what's really going on. And I'm going to highly encourage you to click learn more to check out. That's a retargeting ad right there. Now, now I'm only retargeting those who reached my checkout page, but didn't check out. That's a custom audience. That's a retargeting audience. That's how you pick up the crumbs off the table. So, so, so having all these multiple pages, I guess that's, that's, that's the best way to put it. It's so you're not leaving any crumbs on the table because out of, 
out of out of every ten pies, there's going to be eight crumbs, and I and, and those eight crumbs we need to pick up, and that's going to so happen in, from all these pages. In my in my Kartra, I have I have several pages that you know, like I, I do have a communication, uh, like three different emails that go out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they are redirecting people back to pages. Mm -hmm. who you know on that page it's another video of steve and he's talking about it's just kind of another good, good soft good, sales good. page but of course we don't have the pixelation throughout the the yeah. whole funnel in order to really zero in so if you bundle this up and send it to me i'm assuming i would have to go in and and delete the pixels that would your pixels follow that over would i i mean it will it will so, so i'll just have to go into all these pages and paste my own pixel in, in everything Yes, you would have to, but but at the same time, it's not that many. It's, it's no, I know, I that it's easy. It's ten pages. And then also, I would have to rename those pages, and I think I know how to do that. Uh, yeah. Once once I open it up, and I I, I think I can rename those. Yes. You know, once once you have the page here, all you do is click on the three dots, click on edit, and you can rename that page. Or get get code and get link. Well, that will re that will rename the link. But but to rename the actual just the page the way the page you no can, right so yeah 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 edit to rename the the page but to re rename the link would be right there I would yeah yeah get code or link to rename the link yeah yeah, yeah. so ten pages and that's including the the offer expired um, and 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 that that's that's a full blown that's that that's yeah man. Uh, that, that's that's that, that's powerful right there man it really is it really really is so i can import in fact let me just do it right now let me just do it right now while we're here let's package this entire thing up and send it your way so all i'm going to do is i'm going to simply hit campaigns and i'm going to name it let's name this campaign um sprout and then How about new new sprouting campaign so i know because i've got i've got three new actually you sprouting. know what i'm gonna i'm gonna abbreviate it. new sprouting campaign how about ncp and ns nsc okay 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 so let's let's just name it that and then i'll hit create and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna include i'll include yeah you know, i'm pretty sure i can include the product as well actually yeah, yeah, I'll just include the entire thing. Okay, so let's come in here. Let me package this thing up and then just all I gotta do is put in your username and you'll have it instantly. My Kartra username? Yeah, but I don't need it this second, but yeah, it's gonna ask me for it once I once I send it your way. Just your Kartra username, that's all. And then um Well I'll have to look, I can't remember what that is. So maybe stop sharing so I can see my screen. Or you can oh. hit escape. Okay. So if I go to Kartra, where am I gonna find my username? Go under. You can log out. out, just log out and then. Um, well, it's usually just my email then. If that's how I log in. Is it your email? Okay, yeah. Use your, your email. Fine. Oh, I think my username is uh, right here. Yeah, it's Blue Rock Pub, all one word. Perfect. Okay. B L U E R O C K P U B. Perfect. Okay, so let me give me one second. You can come back to my screen real quick. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to include, okay, so let's go with the product. I'll go with, um, where is that? Here is this one. And then the list will be here. Okay, so here's here's all the different lists that I have. This this is, again, this is gonna really, really help, really help you guys, man. All you got to do is look at it and, and fill in the blanks. But I'm going to put in, the, well, let me explain it. I have a list because here's how it works. The sequence goes out, right? Let me 
let me get to the top of this. It all starts with, did they watch it or did they not? As they, as they go through my sequence, they watched it, okay, email number one, email number two. They did not watch it, email number one, email, email number two. And as they go down, as they go down, they go down, they go down, these automations, so the automation there, there to the right, um, and then there's tags over here to the left, which is what you can see. But as, of, as they go down and they come down to the very last email, which over here, the last one is, will you, will you please tell me why? Over here, the last email is, you get an E for effort. And I'm just trying to be funny there, right? They at least tried to watch it, but they never did. So I'm just being a little sarcastic right there. But here's what happens. Right here, there's an automation. And down here, there's an automation. This automation is taking them off of this list and putting them on a different list. So that's over here. Those are people, the people that get to the bottom, I take the, it's automated. They're taken off of that list and they're now put on a different list. They're put on did, didn't finish web class or they're put on finished web class, but didn't buy. Or they're put on registered for web class um, and and that's it. It's really just, it's really, the, it's really those four. The core students, they're either going to be a student because of the people who bought, or they didn't finish, or they finished but didn't buy, or they simply registered for it. Now, when they register for it, they're, they're on that list right away. But as they come down to the bottom, that's when I'm taking them off of that list. I'm automating it. I'm taking them off of that list, and I'm going to put them on either didn't finish or finished but didn't buy. Because okay, so What's that? So the question, you, you know, when you say register for your class, you're saying they opt in to watch that second page. They opted in to watch the second page. Okay. Now, since we're really not putting on a webinar, we're not really saying it's a class. But it's still um, a video. It's still a pitch. It's still a presentation. Right. So, so would I... Name so, it whatever you want. So in our case, it would be... Okay. Yeah. Same exact thing. Name it whatever you want to name it. Okay. But it's the same thing. I need to take you to one page to get your name and email to make sure you're really that interested. I'll take you to a second page so I can show you my 20-minute video or my four-minute right. video, whatever. And I'll call that video whatever I want to call it. Okay. In my case, I'm just calling it a web class. You can call it whatever you want. Same thing. Okay. Some people are going to buy. Some people aren't. And this is just where I'm segmenting them. I'm either going to so put that, you on. When they, when they go through their, that, uh, the uh, email sequence and they end up buying – then they automatically get put into that. They bought the course. Now they're on course students. Yeah, they because they, they they automatically go to there mm -hmm. because they bought at some point in there. Now they're off the sequence. Even if they come over here to the left hand side, see here's how I have it all set up. That's why this automation is so powerful, man. This is where it's all at. It's on this email sequence. As they hit, as they watch it, and they get email number one, they get email number two, they get email number three. They're only receiving this next email number four if they haven't bought it. Yeah. If they have bought it, then yes, they're taken off of that sequence and now and they, put on that other list of core students. If they don't have that tag of core students, then they remain in the sequence and they keep getting it until the system reads them that they actually have this tag. Do you have anything more for the, do you have anything, do you have an email sequence? Uh, I mean, you have a thank you page. So they went through, they, they bought it. Mm -hmm. Are you sending them an email sequence of anything? Or I guess, you know, with, with our class, it doesn't really matter because they, they bought the product. They can just start watching it and exactly. they're on their own. That's kind of all it is. That's all it is on my, mm -hmm. in my case. Okay. Too. Yeah. Now, if, if anything, having a sequence isn't a bad idea which is what I, now that I really think about it, I'll, I'm going to add because in the bonuses, I'm offering you a, a I'm offering, you know, a, a coaching call, a Zoom call every week, every Tuesday and Thursday, I have a live Zoom call. So in my sequence, in my sequence for, for core students only, it'd be great to have a reminder email that goes out reminding them about our, our Friday call or our Tuesday call or live with Steve every Tuesday. And that could be a sequence. That could be an email that goes out as a reminder every every monday yeah so so yeah you can have a sequence to any list anyone that's yeah. on a list can get a sequence so this is one list right here everyone who bought another list is again those who didn't finish the class so if, if mm -hmm. even if it's four minutes man 
you're taking me to your you're taking me to your landing page. I'm entering my name and email. I go to the second page where it's a four minute video. For all all you know, I've only watched thirty seconds of it. Yeah. So so that person they didn't finish, but they entered their name and email. They clicked learn more from the ad. There was some kind of interest. Yeah. Why wouldn't I want to follow up on them? Right. So yeah, so those gotcha. people. They didn't finish, so therefore they're on the false side. They're on the false side. Hey, hey, Ron, what happened? You're gonna get that right. Actually, you're gonna get it. the way I have it set up is one hour later. So after you opt in to watch my four-minute video, one hour later the system's gonna check it. And here's what the system does: the split. The system's gonna gonna check if they have that tab. Did they yeah. watch it or did they not? That's what yeah. this. That's what this split is right here. Let me um, open it up. But all this is doing is reading a tag. What's going on here? But but that's that's all that is. Is is. Let me see if I got. I got, I got you on that. Yeah yeah. And then and then if they don't have that tag of finishing the four minutes or whatever it is, here it is. Gosh, an hour later, finally opens up. Let me see. Okay, here we go. So here, here, here's all it is, the split. So all it's checking for is if they have the tag, if they finish the four minutes. If they don't, if they don't have that tag, then they go to the false section and they, and they continue to receive those emails. Each email is followed by, I don't know what is going on with my internet here. Okay, so each, each, this is the condition, okay? That's the condition, that is the tag. Each email on the false side, it goes to what happened? Hey, Ron, what happened? One day later, the automation is gonna check for that tag. If they didn't finish it, Ron, are you able to finish today? One day later, it's checking for that tag again. If you don't have that tag, web class is coming down tomorrow. Once you come to the last chance and you actually watch the video, then now you start up at the top over here on the true side. So now for the next four days, that countdown clock restarts. And now you're on the true side until you purchase. And then, and again, depending if you do or you don't, that's these other lists. So you didn't finish web class, you're on that one list. I need to be able to segment all these people, all this activity, because this is going to allow me to run another ad or not even run an ad, maybe send an email. Maybe three months down the line, we discount the program again. I'll send it to everyone who didn't watch it. I'll send that email to everyone who didn't finish the web class but didn't, or, or, or finish the web class but didn't buy. Right? Now I know who all those folks are. So so that's super important to, to, to have that automation set up. So course right. well, I, I, that's it, the power of that's that's exactly why we came over from ClickFunnels. It's just, you know, putting Yes, you know, I, and I have a and I have a, a sequence automation of a do and don't, and we send them some follow up videos. But again, we we're missing out on the whole pixelation. Yes, man. And, and, and retargeting things, so that's that's going to be key. The, the pixel, the retargeting, and and the email sequence with the automations. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's what it's all about. So so here are the four lists: core students didn't finish web class, finished web class but didn't buy, and registered for web class. And then the tags, let's go down to training course. Here are all the tags. So the, the, you're tagged if you buy, okay? You're, you're tagged if you buy. You're also tagged if you didn't finish. So didn't finish web class, you're tagged. Um, finished web class, you're tagged. I need to know that to send you to the true side, right? I need to know if you finished it. So that's how you go to the true side. So that's the tag. And then this other one is um, finished web class but didn't buy. And I think those are, and then let me see if there's any more. Registered for web class. Actually, did I have no? There we go. Okay, perfect. So those are all the tags. So course students didn't finish web class, finish web class. Finish web class but didn't buy, register for web class. Now the pages, there's 10 of them. So let's go down the line to 
Okay, so we got we got the offer expired. And then we got order complete. And then we have um, order there's order complete podcast confirm strategy go web class. Okay, perfect. So that's the landing page. And then web class four days left. It looks the same, but they're they're different pages. And the reason why it's like that is because I have the countdown clock and it times me out so that Cartridge reading my IP address and they know I'm timed out, so they're not showing it to me there. But and then you have the web class in process, right? Yes. Yes. That and then the next one is awesome results. And all these, I'll show you which one, but but the majority of them, they all go in the email. It's only two of them, the landing page and the web class in progress. Those are the only two pages. Yeah. All the other the rest, pages. The rest are pages that you direct people to through, after, through your email links. Through the email. Yes, yes, yes. So um, that was awesome results. Web class checkout. So there's your, there's your checkout page. There's the checkout page. And then we have uh, there's and then frequently asked questions. You want a free, you want an FAQ page as well, man. That that that's going to get people off the fence as well. And 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 and, and this this um, FAQ page, it's I have it's a page with a list of all these different random questions, all these FAQs, and 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 the answer. But the whole page, the top of it, is a video of me just simply answering them. Like like for example. Um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll show it to you, but but that's all that is. So it's just again, it's just it's just reiterating my credibility. That's what these pages are all about. Me on video explaining, explaining, explaining why this is so powerful. And so with this FAQ page is the same thing. I'm just I'm just going over FAQs and getting people to buy. So um, so that's the FAQ. I'm giving you these. That one right there. Um, I'm giving you these web class in progress. There's the, okay, so that's 369. There's 369, there's one more. Okay, so it would be um, run this ad ASAP. Perfect. There's your 10 pages. So that's the 10 pages, 369, there's 10. Those are the 10 pages. The sequence is going to be. This one right here. And then the form is going to be web class registration. Automations aren't aren't set up there. Memberships, no calendars, tracking links, no videos. Okay, that's everything. That's everything. Yeah. So I hit save. Um, and this is the entire package. Save and next, keep it private on the on the Kartra marketplace. Save and next, congratulations. So go to my campaigns, and all I'm going to do is now I'm going to put your um, username over here. Okay, give, it, give me your username again. Okay, all one word, Blue Rock Pub. P-U-B, yep. Blue Rock Pub, okay, cool. So go ahead and go ahead and share your screen, and let's get to your Kartra account. And you should see it, you should see it there. Perfect. So there's the notification. I actually refresh this page. No, I gotta move this so I can, or I guess that would go away. Actually, you gotta save it. Do you have the save right there? Save, save this. this. Uh, oh, geez, what was her name? Perfect. So there's the notification. We're down here. Yeah, my campaigns. Okay, so now I'll click on available campaigns. You see a little red notification. And then all you're going to do is you're going to deploy it. So that one right there, click on the three dots. And then actually, you're going to accept it first. Accept it. And then you go to 
So it was imported, now we have to deploy it. So hit the close button. And then um, click on available, or, or click on my campaigns in the top left, my campaign. Actually, no, not right there, to the, to the right a little bit up. Oh. Right there, my campaigns. Perfect. Let's see, refresh this real quick. Actually, you know what? Go back to available campaigns. I'm sorry. Now that you accepted it, now you just hit deploy it, and then it'll show right here. So click three dots and then deploy. Perfect. And then and then just go ahead and give it any, any prefix, like abbreviate. And then you can always change it as well. But yeah, it's a short, it's a short. Yeah. That's why I put NSC because it's it's not. But then you can campaign name. You can you can change that right now. I think you could change that. Let's yeah, let's change that. Put new perfect new there you go. Perfect, and then import. Okay, cool. So now you have everything, man. You have all that, and um, you'll see that in. So after this is done loading, you'll see. You can go ahead and watch that. Watch that real quick. That that's kind of important. It's like a short video. Congratulations. Congratulations, the campaign has been successfully deployed. Please note that a few new assets have been created in your account, and you might need to tweak them before they are ready to use. In the right edge of your browser, you will see a new tab with all of the steps you need to follow. Please go over them one by one, and you will be done before you know it. Perfect. So now, click on My Campaigns right at the top, top, My Campaigns, and then you'll see it right here. So there's that. And so, um, so you're good with that. So now if you go to my products to the left, yeah, you won't really edit anything from here, but to the left, everything's to the left now. So my products, you'll see it right there, the little the lady holding the key, that's the product. Um, but you already have your own product, so you might have to use this one, but it's just, it's there for, for, for the time being. But yeah, you already have your product, so you're fine. And then my communications, you'll see, you'll see everything from that point on. So my communications, you'll see the list, um, there's the NSC. There, there are the list, and then the communications. Um, if you help, if you click on communications at the top, and then click on sequences, you'll see the sequence. So there's the there's the the countdown. So if you if you open up that, which you don't have to do right now, but but edit and open up that, then you can see the true and the false side. Okay. So then, if I want to then start. Um, so I would need to go in, if, if I'm going to start branding the, those pages, so the first one I would go to is the one that's web class. Yes, which, which is, is uh, which I, if I, if, progress. Let me just do this so I can get rid of some of the. There we go. So I would start with. Um, it, would be, it would be web class in progress. So, so it really, it's, it's, web, web, it's really web, web class. class. So that's that's the first one. That's the landing page. TSREA web class. That's, this is that's, the one that I would set up as as a landing page. That's where the I would, page. Yes. Okay. And there's 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 no video or anything. That's just that's basically like a, a capture page. That's a capture page. That's exactly what you have to do. You have to capture the lead. You have right. to capture the lead before you offer. I got you. So in in as far as the the nuts and the bolts of it as far as I'm gonna to need to redirect the form to my particular form, right? That I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's where some of the techie stuff is. Uh, yeah, man, I could, I could, we could do all that too. But I, mean, I, I, but I think that's, so I would, I, I can go in here and I can change all this to look like what we want. The only yep. thing I would need to do here. Yep, click on that, open that up and just change the form to, to your form. Why is it not doing that? Normally it pops open something on the left. Yeah, it'll, it'll open up. It, yeah, I don't, I guess both of our internets are slow right now. But on, this, on this landing page, where it's when they when they when they click watch training now is that when the form pops up mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So, actually, you know what? In your case, you guys don't even have a form. You just have the blue button straight to a checkout. So I, I do have a form. I have a I have a form that I did for. It was an exit pop up form. Yeah, not the exit, not the exit. We don't want an exit. I mean, I still have the form, so I can grab that, like in my. Perfect. Yeah. So click on links. Click on links right here. So right at the top, click on links, and then you'll scroll down, and you'll see you'll see a pop up form right there. Yeah. Um, and then scroll to the right. Scroll to the right. Just put your scroll cursor to right. over to the right. No, your cursor. Over, yeah, right there. Open up yeah. that. This right here is where you would you would attach your form. Yeah. Yeah, your internet's a little slow because. Oh yeah, and we images. we have we got really good internet here, so it, it is slow. Maybe it's because I'm using the the Zoom. Perfect. So those, that's where those that yeah that drop down right there to the left. Okay. So then, this will give me uh, my next scheduled call with you is on. Uh, yeah, hit that drop. Yeah, perfect, man. Schedule as as many as it's needed. We. So this is where I would come down to. Yes. Your my spotting with Steve opt in. Perfect. That's it right there. Apply. Perfect. And then I have to save this. So yeah, hit yeah I, mean, I, I can work. I can work through this and kind of brand it uh, to our to what we're doing. Yes. Um, and then and use then, the color pick eyedropper as well. Hit done right there. Hit, I think you got to hit done first. Hit done. Because I've just gone straight to save progress and that form is not there. So um, click out real quick. Click yeah, it's not click like me. I'm clicking right here and it's, okay, yeah, so sure. and it's I'm kind of froze. So I'll hit done, then I'll save that. And then there's that bottom link as well. There's a, so I, I have two buttons on this page. But yeah, change the bottom one as well. So once you get out of here, you click done, and then you go back to the landing page right below. There's another button. There we go. So hit done right there, and then go down. There, there's another one below right there. Is that the same same button? You're directing people to the same spot here? Yes. Okay. So you need to update that form as well. Okay. So now, so so I'm pretty clear on what I, I, this is good. I've got good homework here as far as, you know, putting my stuff into this uh, thing. On our next call, what I'll do is I will kind of go over this, making sure that I've got all the, the right things switched over. Yes, I would, I would focus on that, getting everything, the verbiage, the images, focus on that in our next call. We can, unless you can, unless you know how to do it, which is grab a pixel, but what you did not do is you didn't add the event code. Because the pixel, there's kind of a two step process to it. Step so one is. Let's do on our next call. I'll, I'll ask any questions about what I've done, you know, with, within this uh, rebranding of the funnel. Mm -hmm. And then we can move over to the Facebook and start kind of going through how to set up an ad. And once we get to the pixel, you know, and you, I mean, I know how to do the pixel part, but the, whatever else you were talking about, I wasn't sure. Yeah. So then we can. The event. And then the homework would be to go and brand all these with the pixel. So. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Because I have I have all the calls laid out, but what, but whatever else needs to be included for sure. But but yeah, this is all the Karcher one, and then and then what we'll do next is, is that pixel because there's a lot to that pixel as well. There there there's just two steps to it. You got the first step down, but there's there's that event code that you did not include on every page, and that's 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 important because that event code is how we run conversion ads. Right. Okay. So. That is also part of the pixel, but that's part two of the pixel, and most people miss that part. So, yes, man. Let's. What are, when are we chatting? Friday. Friday. Friday at three. Perfect. Now, also, Perfect. like on this page, I would, um, if I want to rename this page specific to us, do I? Yes. What what one thing you want to do also, and this is what I do when I first come into a brand new page. Like whether it's a page that I just imported from somebody else or whether I'm starting my own page, whatever. One thing I, that I do right away, close out of this, is I always make sure that 
yeah, that that link is is obviously what I want. Not the embed, but not yeah. You wouldn't be right there, but you just close out of this one. So the first thing that I normally do is I hit I hit settings. Give me one second. Sure. Hit, hit settings. Oh, it's in the top. Uh, over here. I lost you. Okay. Okay, I'm here. I'm sorry. My little girl wants to learn landing pages. Come on. So hit SEO parameters. That right there, web class registration. All that right there is, is normally, and, and all that information, the, the description, the keywords, the description, the keywords, the author, the page title, all of that right there is only important for the landing page on any landing page. That okay. is not important for any other page. Gotcha. Because it's really only the landing page that gets shared if it gets shared at all. Okay. Right? The landing page. That's why if you look at my landing page right below, I have those social media icons, those share buttons in case right. it wants to share it. And, and right. that information shows up on social media as people share it. So where would I actually uh, get, I thought I would do it over here. Maybe it was preview. But see what, what you want to do on every page is you oh. want to at least change the title. So hit settings again to the left. And then SEO parameters, that title, that page title, that is the title of the tab, as you know. So every page you want to make sure that that title you know, represents whatever page that is. Okay, but and, and I'll and I'll do that. But on where where is it that I actually brand this to my sproutingwithsteve.com forward slash and then I can name it? What you're gonna do is you're gonna either yeah hit hit publish live. So this link right here, get that that link. But get the page link. This link right here, you can. Oh, I want to edit it. Yeah, you can edit it. Want to do. You can edit that back end part. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And I'll and just save that for now. Yeah, or you can or you can do opt-in or whatever you want to do, or or so, or web web class or I mean, I, I mean, this, is, this is the opt-in page. So. Yeah, that's the opt-in. But at the same time, I don't know if I would name it that because that's what people see. That's the public, that's what people see publicly. So the word opt-in is not really you know, registration, register. Yeah. Registration page or register. Sprout, sproutwithsteve.com forward slash register. Perfect. So who's the little one there? What's her name? Oh, this is Cassandra. Say what's up, pastor. Hey, what's hi, Cassandra. Hi. I got a little brother and I don't like sharing. Yeah. Books. I have a girl named Cassandra. Are you serious? Yeah. She's right. my youngest. No way. Yeah. Right Colton, Colton, McKenna and Cassandra. Right on. Yeah. Right on. And her little brother, we just had, you know, yeah, as you know, my little brother, my little, my little son. What's Kate. his name? Kate, we named him Caden, Caden Andrew. Our, our best friends just uh, had a granddaughter and her name is Caden. Are you serious? Yeah. Actually, it's not her, it's a him. It's a little, little boy. There's a few different ways you could spell it and it's actually a girl name as well. Um, yeah, no, he, he's a boy. I, I can't remember how they spelled it. It's Caden and I think it's with a K. Is it with a K? I think so. Yeah, ours is C-A-I. I, I know it's Caden. C-A-I-D-E-N, Caden. You got Braden and Caden and, oh, it's a whole bunch of names. I can't <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too many, man. Well, I, I think I've got my homework cut out for me. Any, yes. any, and, and this, you know, maybe I get it done. Um, I don't know that I'll rebrand all the emails, but... I, I can rebrand the landing page. Um, that's a that's a lot, and even if you don't, that's fine. Like we, we could still proceed on Friday with with just installing the pixel on everything. Yeah, okay. and and creating custom audiences around everything. That's a whole call right there. Okay. So do as much as you can on the branding. Do as much as you can on the email, on on the email sequence. Okay. And just try to try to try to understand all every asset that I sent over because it was it was a lot but at the same time it's it's not a lot like it's it's not a lot um 
but it, but yeah, if you get stuck in any way, just let me know. But we'll chat Friday for sure. Okay. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, Pastor. Go run around with the, run around with the little ones. It's important. You got it, man. Text me or call me if you need anything. Take your time, and we'll we'll uh, we'll be in touch, and we'll see you Friday. Right on, boss. Okay, okay man. Thank you. See you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.